At the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan Stadium on Friday evening, FC Barcelona took on Sevilla in La Liga. Here's the result and what we learned from the fixture. Kike Setien finally dropped Griezmann and started Suarez the front line man by Braithwaite, the Uruguayan, making his first start since January, and Lionel Messi, Griezmann was snubbed by his coach. In midfield, Arturo Vidal returned alongside Ivan Rakitic while Nelson Semedo also got his maiden nod post-Covid pause. No big chances in the opening 10 minutes, but all under control Suarez fired off an early, soft shot at goal right at the offset, but apart from that there weren't any glaring opportunities to speak of. As always, however, Barca had dominated possession, hogging around 75% of it, and also strung together over 100 passes. Rakitic and Vidal were particularly impressive in pulling the strings from the center of the park, but a special mention went to Semedo too. Sevilla almost sneaked one in a spill to Jules Conde from a free kick, the Frenchman hit just wide past a grounded Ter Stegen. And the same man proved their savior clearing off the line, Conde made sure a free kick around the 20th minute from Messi did not fly into the top corner past Tomas Vaklik. A second Messi free kick was also on target shortly after but Vaklik had it under enough control to make a standing catch. There was not much more to speak of in a first half that ended 0-0 save for a mass-pushing match started by Messi confronting Diego Carlos, after the Brazilian had chopped Suarez. As for the action on the whole, though, Barca appeared to have their hosts pinned back at times, with Rakitic again smart and attempting to involve Braithwaite down their shared left wing. It was generally a scrappy affair, which seemed like it might be later decided by the finest of details, if at all. Setien would have been fairly content in the locker room, one would have thought, and deliberating over which changes he could make once the time came in the next 45 could have therefore caused some internal turmoil. Perhaps that's why it took a relative age to make a substitute on, then the second half began as cagey as the first had finished, with neither outfit afforded huge chances. Messi's Argentina teammate and close friend Ever Benega looked to make an impact upon replacing Oliver Torres at the interval. And on 63 minutes, Setien decided to introduce Arthur and Hook Braithwaite, with Vidal then seeming to occupy the Danes spot on the left of the attacking trident. Three dead balls tried and failed by Messi hacked by Fernando, this time the Ballon d'Or winner's effort was tipped over by Vaklik. Setien took advantage of the water break to make his second switch as soon as the hydration pit stop had concluded, Griezmann supplanted Vidal and finally the MSG was reunited for the last 15 minutes or so. Before that, Barca had been lucky not to be punished on a counter-attack see below for further details.